who you love and who you want to be hugging. Zip it, know your ninja haunter with Sanisha and Rhonda. What? I can style you. I can style you. I can style you better than she can. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Tasha. Coming to you guys with a huge collective haul. Okay, from H&M and Zara. I would say these are transitional pieces. So it's stuff that you can wear now while we're still in winter, okay? And then these are things that you also can transition into spring. Now, before we jump into the styling portion of the video, it's two things I wanna show you guys up close and personal. Definitely these things are getting started up in the video, but I want you guys to see them up close. The first thing is a pair of earrings from H&M. These are called, these are like some asymmetrical gold earrings so these are really cute i want to say i paid 12.99 for these these are really cute okay so i got these and then <laughs> the thing that i was pressed for on top are these boots okay oh okay 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 then maybe i should just do one at a time okay so these boots are a couple of things for me these boots are very edgy you guys know that i have like an edgy side to me and they also give like goth vibes and i feel like it's a boot miss like a little mary jane vibe but these are going to be so fire for now and for the spring like i have so many ideas for these shoes these are these were 89.90 on zara's website they're not real leather but what i will tell you guys they do want you to size i got them in a 10 i have a short fat wide foot and because i like narrow shoes i have to get a 10 a 10 is not my normal shoe size i'm normally like eight and a half nine but because i like narrow shoes I gotta do a 10. These are the a shoe that you're gonna have to break down. Okay, I did have to put some shoe stretch on them because they are a little tight, but they're not too small. Like these are just like the type of shoe that you really just have to really break in. But now that I put the shoe stretch on them, they're fine. So I would say that they're true to size. So you can get your true size needs if you're interested. But I love these. Okay, so zip on the side. You may have to, when I put mine on, I did have to undo this buckle, okay? Because it goes around the zip part. And you just buckle it back in. But what y'all think about these? I can't wait to sell these up for y'all. So let's get into the video. Y'all ready? I can style you. I can style you. Okay, guys. So here is outfit number one. I'm going to give y'all some spins. Y'all need one more spin? Let me get one more spin. Okay, so I picked up this coated um, leather pencil skirt from H&M. I got it in an extra large and H&M is really stepping up their quality because if y'all remember, I think either last year or the year before last, <laughs> I was like H&M faux leather is a no for me. But when I was looking at this online, I was like, this looks like it could be good. So this is a good faux leather skirt from h and um, This kind of reminds me of my faux leather joggers from ASOS that I like. Like the quality on this is really, really good. It does have a hidden zipper and an eye hook closure on the side. I love the fact that the split is in the front because it's an apple shape. Pencil skirts could be hit or miss on us because we don't have thick thighs and legs and we always get like this puckering in the pencil skirt because of that but I feel like it's not that bad as if it was like a maxi skirt so I love the fact that it hits me at the knee I love the fact that the split is in the front and I love the fact that this is actually good quality I got this in an extra large and like I said the stretch on this is really really good and then i also picked up a new button-up shirt because it's time for me to replace some button-up shirts in my wardrobe button-up shirts are essential for me i think i told you guys this in my outfit formula video i wear them the traditional way that you wear into the office i also wear them casually and then sometimes on the spring and summer 
I would throw it on as like an overshirt, the same way that you would wear like a blazer or a kimono. So these are essential for me. So this one is blue with pinstripe and is white and navy pinstriping. I love that the collar is stiff and I love that the cuff is stiff. It's something about a, a stiff collar on a button up shirt. Like it just, it just gives me something. And then I paired it with those chunky boots from Zara. So how do you guys feel about this look? So this is a look that you can wear into the office. Like I think this is like a fun, edgy look. And this is also something that you can transition into the spring. So we're gonna stay right here with the skirt and the boots. We're gonna switch out the top real quick. I also picked up a white button up as well. I'm not gonna try it on the opening because y'all know <laughs> white gets dirty. So let me show y'all the shoe stretch really quick because I always talk about the shoe stretch. I will link this in the description box for you guys it's clear it's mine is almost gone i need to order a new one but you can spray this on any material leather faux leather suede faux suede it doesn't matter the material if there's a shoe that you need to break in okay you spray this all over the shoe set it and forget it baby okay but the way that i do mine is if i can get the shoe on my foot <laughs> then I will spray this on while my foot is in the shoe and just wiggle my foot around or walk around maybe like 30 minutes, done, okay? But you don't have to put the shoe on. You can just spray the shoe down and leave it alone. The only shoe that I had to really use a lot of this on, if you guys just watched my Fashion Nova video, those blue boots that I did with that um, mesh dress, which are just like my cream boots, but they're just suede. So it was tighter trying to break it in right here at the pointy part. And baby, <laughs> I had to spray and slide, spray and slide. It took me a little minute, but I was in it and I finally broke the shoes in. So this stuff is like magic in the bottle. Okay. So I will link this for y'all, but let's get into the next look. Y'all right. Yeah. So here's outfit number two. We're still working with the skirt. I also picked up this, they're calling it vegan. <laughs> okay. On H&M's website fold out the shirt in an extra large it has great stretch the texture is different and the sheen is different between the skirt and the top but as you guys know doing all black and playing with different textures is a thing we are still working with the boots i added my red bottega mini bag and my personality glasses just to add a little razzle dazzle to it so i'm going to give y'all some spins Y'all need one more spin? Let me give y'all one more spin. Don't mind my friends outside the birds. It's early in the morning when I'm filming. And this does have um, lining on the inside. It's not heavy, but this is like a good piece to have for the transitional time going into spring. You can throw this on as an over shirt and probably not have to wear a jacket. When you probably get to like the middle of spring, not early spring, but like the middle of spring, you could probably do this without a jacket. Let's go ahead and get into <laughs> the next piece because y'all, we got a lot of pieces to get through. Y'all ready for the next look? Y'all need one more time? Let me know in the comments how y'all feel about the boots. And I am going to show you guys what the boots look like without the stockings. But I just wanted to show you guys how they would look now. Because, of course, now you have to wear stockings or tights. But in the springtime, okay, I won't be wearing stockings or tights. And I'm waiting for three items from Old Navy. I picked up some balloon jeans from Old Navy. So I'm excited to try those. I think they will look fire with these boots. So when that stuff comes in, we will revisit these boots with those jeans. Okay, guys, so here is the next look. This is another way that you can style the fold of the shirt. I went ahead and paid it with my ankle cut jeans from Abercrombie. And then also so you guys can see what the boots look like with the jeans. So how do you guys feel about this look? Y'all need one more spin? Let me give y'all one more spin. Okay, so you can dress these boots up or you can dress them down. And then I want to also do like a juxtaposition with these boots as well. And then we're going to move on from the boots. Okay, but I just want to try to get a feel for the boots if you're interested. So you can see the versatility in them. Do I need one more spin? Okay, 
Okay, let's get into the next look. Yeah, so here's the next look. This is actually a look that's on the runway for spring and summer. Let me go ahead and give y'all some spins first. Y'all need one more spin? Let me give y'all one more spin. So we're doing a juxtaposition with suiting and I went to the chunky boots again and I don't have the stockings on this time. So now it's kind of giving like a chunky Mary Jane vibe because you can't really tell that it's a boot. But if you guys remember, I told y'all that H&M had this cream blazer and I wanted to see if it was going to match my cream pants. Now the creams are different. This is way lighter than the pant but this is one of h&m's like higher quality blazers that has darting which gives like that tailored effect to it i am wearing a double xl i should have got an extra large the reason why i got a double xl is because i have a kind of tailored blazer from h&m my red one that has a darting and that one ran small so i just assumed that their structured blazers were worn small so i'm like let me get the extra large thinking i'm mean, the double xl thinking that it would you know be a good fit because the other one fits like really close to my body so this one you can size down it runs like their normal blazers run but you guys know that i have the infamous hourglass blazer from h&m that you guys always ask me about and because this has darting in it as you guys can see it gives that hourglass effect. They also have this blazer in black, okay? So if you are still on the hunt for an hourglass blazer, I would recommend you get this blazer because it does have that hourglass effect because it has darting in the front and it has darting in the back. So this is a double breasted blazer. My hourglass blazer is single breasted, but it still gives the same vibes. So this is what it looks like fully buttoned up. And as you guys can see, it gives that hourglass illusion on the side. So, again, get it in black. It's going to give you the hourglass things. I decided to go ahead and add my gold flower brooch. I told you guys before that these little rosettes was going to be popular <laughs> this season. So, you're starting to see that more on blazers on the runway. And because this doesn't really match, match, it's still not too bad. I can still slide with this. Like in the spring, I would do a white shirt part of my white sneakers and wear the blazer open with these pants and it'll be a vibe but i would prefer if i could find like a dead on match to it but how do you guys feel about the suiting with the boots and the rosette okay and again this is what it looks like open so either way, it's going to give you that hourglass effect, whether it's open or closed. So I highly recommend this blazer. Again, this is a double XL. So if you want it to be a closer fit and you're my size, get the extra large. If you want the oversized fit, you can do the double XL. For me, it doesn't matter either way because you guys know that I love oversized blazers and then I can layer with this. The only thing about having this cream one, okay, is that you have to be mindful of when you're touching stuff, sitting down, makeup, because baby, I love this blazer and I love the color, but I feel like I'm gonna be babysitting this because of the color. But I need one more spin before I go to the next look. All right, let's go to the next outfit. Okay guys, so here is the next look. I picked up this satin polka dot shirt from H&M, I got it in an extra large. Like I said, I am replacing some shirts in my wardrobe. So this is what the shirt looks like up close. Here are the earrings up close. So I went ahead and paired it with my favorite wide leg pleated trousers from ASOS. This is a cute look that you can wear into the office if you are in a full business environment or business casual environment. I went ahead and paired it with my red patent leather mules that are old from now West. So how do you guys feel about this look? Y'all need one more spin? Let me get y'all one more spin. Okay, let's get into the next look. I think I may keep these pants on. I'm not 100% sure for the next top. We'll see, we'll see. 
Okay guys, so here's the next top. I decided to keep on the same trousers. I picked up this knit from Zara in the extra large. It's super stretchy. It's a little cropped. I will show you guys how short it is, but if you have a pair of high-waisted trousers to meet where the crop stops, then you'll be fine. It is like a medium weight. It is super stretchy for extra large. I love the large collar. You can zip in this up like that. Okay, you can zip it all the way if you want to and really have it like kind of scrunchy. But I like it open and then on the shoulder like that. So I also went ahead and paired it with my denim clogs that are like a grayish black. So this could be like a cute, comfy look into the office, business casual, or you could do sneakers with this. Like I would wear my Cardis because they kind of give the same vibe as the Sambas. Or I could do my Tory Burch charm you so i could dress this look up or down but how do you guys feel about the knit so again this is another cute office look and then this is how short the sweater is so i feel like it stops at a good place on my waistline like it stops at the smallest part of my waist so me having a high-waisted pant just worked out good for me so i could tuck this all the way out so, but what y'all think about this shirt? I have like another little pink shirt to show y'all that's kind of like this that I think would be cute for Valentine's Day. Let me switch to that top. I'm going to leave the pants on. Let's switch to the pink top that I have. It's like a polo type of shirt from H&M. Y'all need one more spin with the shirt. Right, let's get into the next top hold on. okay guys so here is the next top i picked up this pink rib knit top from h and m's in an extra large and it's a little cropped so this is another top that you will need like a high-waisted pant to wear with but i feel like this could be like a cute casual valentine's like dinner date or maybe like a brunch look so you're not trying to really do too much and you're trying to be a little festive with the pink like you could do that or this is a look that you could wear to the office because the pants meets the top. So you're not going to see the cropness of it all. So how do you guys feel about this look? I went ahead and added my squeeze with 3000s. <laughs> okay. So let me show you guys this one. So as you guys can see, this one also stops at the smallest part of my waist. So I would have to wear high waisted pants with this or high waisted shorts okay but i love the color on me i love that it's like a v-neck with a little collar so it has a little versatility you can slide it to the office you can wear it casually so how do you guys feel about this top okay now let me jump out the bed, turn my swag on, and get into my little fashion girl looks that I saved for the end. Y'all ready? Hopped up out the bed, turn my swag on. <laughs> so your boy tell Hey guys, so here is the next look. I picked up this t-shirt from Zara that has like embellishments on it. It's like pearls and little rhinestones. And then I paid it with my faux leather trousers that I have from asos we're still working with the sweet sweet 3000s so i feel like this is a cute like date night look possibly for galentine's okay if you guys are looking for a galentine's day look i feel like this would be a cute look for galentine's so how do you guys feel about this look it's cute it's cash but it's simple and this is a way to elevate your basics like with your t-shirts to get ones that have like little jewels and embellishments on it because it's just a basic white t-shirt with some embellishments so this is a way to elevate your t-shirts y'all need one more spy let me y'all one more spy so what y'all think about the t-shirt i love the little pearls and the little rhinestones on it so but yes, I think this is a cute Valentine's Day look. Like, what y'all think? Let's see, do I like it kind of rolled up or all the way down? I guess all the way down is good. What y'all think? Y'all need one more look at this one? Uh, 
Okay, let's get into the next look. Okay, y'all, so here is the last look. Let's get into the denim trench first. Y'all need some spins first before we get into the look. Let me get y'all some spins first. Y'all need one more spin? Let me get y'all one more spin. Okay, so on H&M's website, the description says that this is a rigid denim trench coat. So initially, when it said rigid denim, I'm thinking it's going to be heavy. That's going to be structured, kind of similar to my Zara one, which is a heavy structured. Out of that is rigid denim. This feels more like not chambray, but chambray vibes like i definitely can tell this is a relaxed um loose denim but when you feel it it will put you in the mindset of chambray to a certain extent but it's not chambray but it's not rigid either like it's not a rigid structured denim it's very relaxed it's very lightweight um it's not heavy at all it feels just like the way that a traditional trench will feel as far as the weight goes. I do like the wash. I got this in an extra large. It does run big, okay? So if you're my size and you want your trench to be a little bit more fitted to the body, definitely size down, okay? But you can always tie your trench to the back like I did to give you the structure in the front. So essentially, it really doesn't matter. If you plan on doing like some layering, wearing some heavier items with it, then you may want to have... The looser fist you can have the room to do that then i also picked up this basic jogging set from h&m in black the pants are in the extra large the top is in the medium because it runs pretty big and then i paired it with my Givenchy shark duke boots from target so i would wear this oh and i added my gucci brooch so this would be like a cute look to run errands and you just want to be cute okay also, this could be like a simple brunch look. This also could be a look that you wear to a comedy show, okay? So, and you're letting the trench be the focal point of your outfit. Because everything doesn't have to be like super dressy dressy, right? But this is what it looks like undone. You guys can see how big this is. Like this extra large is big. So, I feel like someone that I'm normally like a 16, 18. So... I feel like the extra large in the body could probably fit someone up to like maybe like a 2022 and still be comfortable. Okay, this is how much room I have in my arms. And then this is what it looks like tied in the front. So this runs pretty big. Okay, and then like I said, it's not a structured denim. Okay. So that's how it looks tied in the front. And that's from the back. Now I do like that this one mimics like the details of a traditional trench because my Zara one is a little bit more edgy, I feel like. And then do y'all need to see this sweatsuit? Like here's a sweatsuit. <laughs> but for razzle dazzle. This is the sweatsuit, so the medium runs really big, okay? And then the pants, I feel like fits regular. I do have one more shirt, but I'm flashing y'all, I'm tired now. <laughs> this is the other sweatshirt that I picked up from H&M, and this is in a extra large. This one I fit a size down too, it fits the way how this medium looks on me. Okay, so this one I could have sized down to a large or medium because I really want to wear this more so with like my trousers, but I can still make it do what it do and I can still pair it like over top of a button up shirt and things like that. I'll start this up in my next video, but I wanted to still show you guys that I got this. So this shirt, and y'all don't need to see what a white button up looks like as y'all know. So those are the only two shirts I've been trying on. But when I get my Old Navy stuff, I will style up that top for you guys. And I'm going to get y'all spin in the sweatsuit. And then you can also, with the sweatsuit, if you want to, you can add a brooch to this to, you know, so it won't be so basic. But 
you can dress up your sweatsuits to make them fun and edgy. You can do a different shoe so it's not so black on black on black. Like I think this would be cute with my white slouchy boots as well. And do the roach with my um moto jacket and like my baseball cap. Like that could be another look. So but this does have like that fleece lining in it. It's probably another reason why I'm burning the hell up. <laughs> but we made it to the end, boo. I love y'all. See y'all in the next video.